Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while since the last time you saw me. A lot of stuff has changed, you know, life just gets crazy and uh, we'll go over all that, but there's some exciting stuff happening today that I wanted to bring you along for. So let's go ahead and get our day started. All right guys, while we're driving, we can go over a few things that have happened since uh, the last time you saw me. Uh, so very first thing is uh, I got married uh, to my beautiful wife, Natalie, and that was amazing. So we're, we've been married for about three weeks now. Um, life is going great. And um, so then the next thing would be that we ended up buying a house. So we moved out of the apartment where you saw the Ford Focus videos and where you saw the Subaru videos. That apartment is gone. We have a much bigger garage now that I'm excited about. And so we will uh, take a tour of that when we get back after we pick up the trailer and the skid loader. And then the third thing would be is uh, in order to haul a trailer and a skid loader, you can't really do it in the Subi. So we got rid of the Subaru. I ended up picking up a 2015 GMC Sierra 1500. Um, the truck is great and we'll go over that as well. I'll be putting out uh, some more videos on just a little bit walk around of the truck and a few things that we did to it right away. And also I'll do maybe just one more wrap up video on the Focus and you'll kind of see what happened to that. And I did not do any more videos with the Subaru at all. Um, that car just got ended up being sold and we picked up the truck um, from a dealership a few hours away so that was a great time but that is pretty much everything that's happened um, and the exciting stuff that's happening today is uh, a little bit different of content so that'll be interesting so let's go ahead and get this trailer and skid loader and get everything loaded up Here is our three car garage and shop that we have when we bought the house. Now it's been my dream for quite a long time to own my own machine shop. And that's what this area right here is gonna be. So let's go ahead and get those machines. Here we have a lathe with a three jaw chuck on it and a 1944 Bridgeport knee mill. As you can see, Natalie and I got everything loaded up on the trailer, brought it home. We're gonna unstrap it now and start to lift these machines off with a forklift. Now they're very heavy. I would suggest using extreme caution if you do anything like this at home. The mill is quite a bit lighter than the lathe. So that was pretty easy. It had a good way to pick it up and fork it. Whereas the lathe you're gonna see here in a second, those tires are coming off the ground. This thing is way too heavy for our skid loader. We do not have enough counterbalance. So we move the trailer over just a little bit, kind of shimmy this lathe off to one side of the trailer. And we start to realize that I'm not gonna be able to lift this thing up. So let's go ahead, fork it, and drive the trailer out from underneath the lathe.
Here you can see the lathe is a lot lighter when the forklift is only picking up the side with the gearbox and the spindle on it. So it's able to really get it up off the ground as Natalie kind of walks that rear end of the lathe with the tailstock around with that pallet jack. We get it in far enough and we're not able to turn anymore. So I'm gonna bring the skid loader around the other side and we're just gonna lift it up and kind of drag it back into place right where we need it. Here we're gonna leave some wood blocks under it just until we can get some bolts to get the leveling feet right where we want them so that we can get this lathe nice and level to make some nice precision parts. Now that that lathe is right in place, right where we want it, let's go ahead and bring the knee mill in. Now the knee mill is not as heavy as the lathe was, so I just bring it in on the forks and slide it off and slide it right into position. Make sure it's nice and square right where we want it. And there you go. Now we have the lathe and the knee mill. Now both of these machines are quite dirty, so they're really gonna need a good scrubbing. You'll see that in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.